Hi de ho YouTube, Major Cord here. It has been a few months since I've done a, uh, you know, nice long sit behind the camera and talk at you uh, style EDC or daily carry update. So let's get at it. Um, I've laid everything out on my desk, so hopefully I don't forget anything. Um, so let's get started. On my wrist, um, a Timex watch. I'm not sure of which style. I'm sure someone who knows watches can tell me. Um, despite my best efforts, this thing has gotten scratched up, which is a shame because I got it for Christmas from my parents and I really do like it. Um, it's, it's lighter and less bulky than my other Armatron watch that I have. And, uh, I've actually taken to wearing it on the bottom of my wrist. Um, it's, it, it's just nice. I like it. I think I'll wear more leather banded watches in the future. So there's that in my left back pocket so right over my left ass cheek again the same blue moleskin notebook that i've had for the past year and um just a standard cleaning cloth for glasses just in a plastic case the other one was getting kind of dingy so i got rid of it you know got to keep my specs clean in my left cargo pocket because i'm wearing shorts now it's summer um the four sevens m2a nice flashlight you know, three standard modes and then all your uh, hidden modes that I normally don't access. Um, I've also been carrying the uh, 4.7's Prion P2 with, you know, whatever the pen light one is. I think it's the P2. Um, but I also have the P1 body just in case I want to change that out. So those are interchangeable depending on what my mood is. But generally, since I have more pockets and more room, I've just carried the larger light. Um, this light really isn't that large when you get down to it, so provides me enough light for um, inside tasks and outdoor tasks now that I'm outdoors more and uh, I need the throw of a larger light. So gets the job done, doesn't eat batteries too much. Um, this is something that I recently created just for the occasions when I don't have my EDC backpack or the uh, little pouch that goes inside it with my first aid kit. I haven't carried this yet. But I want to attempt to start carrying it just to see how I like it. It's just a miniature first aid kit based off of the first aid kit that I have in that bag. Um, most of the same stuff, just a couple minor subtractions. Um, and if you want to see that video, the link should be there. So I'm not going to go into this because it's essentially the same stuff, um, just in a smaller format. So I want to attempt to keep carrying this um, just so I have some sort of first aid capability. Um, just because I learned from my encounter with my spider Codelica that it, it's important to have the ability to stop blood. So this is something I want to attempt to carry, and I'll carry that uh, in the same pocket with the flashlight. Going to my right butt pocket, I've just started carrying my wallet there, and ever since my second semester in college this year, I've just kind of, um, you know, I haven't had a lot of stuff to carry in my wallet, especially since I haven't been carrying a lot of cash, being uh, primarily card-based in college. I mean, my ID card was my money there, so I didn't need to carry cash. Um, so I've went back to my Max yeah, Maxpedition, uh, I think this is the micro wallet or mini wallet, something like that. Um, so, you know, normal uh, good, good stuff there. I'm not going to open it on camera because I do have sensitive stuff here. But uh, just good stuff, debit card in the back and other cards in front. So thin, I can sit on it and I don't notice it, which is why I've been carrying it in my back pocket. Um, thicker leather wallets I didn't like doing that with, so I have that. And I do carry cash now that I'm working again, um, but I choose just to carry it in uh, one of these butterfly clips. I do own money clips and stuff, but I find that these are just, they're easier to get stuff in and out of and they don't... Uh, they, they can carry more cash, so I can actually have a wad if I need to, just stuck in here. And I carry that in my right cargo pocket, along with a Bic Atlantis. Um, one of my favorite pens. It's just, it's a good pen. It's a silent clicky. Or mostly silent, I mean, you can still hear it, but it doesn't, uh, doesn't go clickety-clack, clickety-clack like a lot of clicky pens. It's a comfortable pen. Um, the ink is good quality, the ballpoint is good quality, and it's just, it's a good pen. There's really, I mean, I could go on about this for a long time, and I'll probably do a pen review where I, like, talk about my 
top five or four favorite pens. I don't know how many I really love at this point. Um, because being a teacher, you really just... You get to love pens. It's kind of part of the, the job there. So, I like this pen, and I carry it pretty much every day at work, at home. I mean, I use it to write in that notebook there. So, always have a pen on you. I always have one on me, and it's generally this Bic Atlantis nowadays. Uh, my multi-tool... I've gone from carrying Swiss Army knives, nothing against Swiss Army knives, um, I still love them, I still own a ton of them, and I do carry them when the situation calls for it, but just recently I've gotten really into, uh, you know, plier-based multi-tools, and Leathermans especially, um, picked up some Leathermans recently, uh, this PS4 Squirt is one of my favorites, it's kind of, it hasn't surpassed the Gerber Dime, I still love the Gerber Dime, but... I've also fallen in love with this. It's just a really nice multi-tool. Um, the blade came sharp from the factory, unlike the Gerber Dime, so I don't have to worry about that. The blade's dirty right now, though. I do have to clean it. But the pliers are just fantastic. I got this one used off of eBay, but everything was still in working order. Um, everything snicks nicely. Uh, this one was labeled Sea Dog. It must be a custom order of something. But I don't mind. It's a brilliant shade of blue. And I'm, I'm kind of sad that from rubbing in my pocket, um, the corners are showing wear because it's just, it's a really cute multi-tool. For lack of a better term, this is cute. Um, the color is just so brilliant, and I know that my lighting is not doing it justice. I, I just, maybe if I, nah, it's really not helping, but, uh, it's just, it's a really nice color. And, um me loving blue, I had to get this. So I'll do eventually a um, separate review of this PS4 Squirt, but it's kind of become my primary multi-tool for everyday carry. Um, but of course, you know I still need to have a regular EDC blade, and that niche has been filled for the past, gosh, almost three months now by the Spyderco Delica. Um... This blade, I, I honestly don't know why I didn't buy it sooner. It um, is, for lack of a better word, perfection. It weighs that, that sweet spot of about two, two and a half ounces. Um, it's smoothed out a lot since I bought it. Um, I love the general design of this line of knives, the uh, Delica Endura series. The lock back is, is fine with me. I have no no problems with that. I love the volcano texturing on the uh, FRN. Just everything about it, I love. And I keep this one wicked sharp. Um, pretty much scalpel sharp. Um, and I know that because at work one day I was cutting something and uh, filleted my finger, for lack of a better term. It... Uh, it, it filleted pretty nicely, and I didn't feel it, because this blade, this VG-10 steel, is so freaking sharp. Um, it's it's a lightsaber. That's, that's basically what it is. Yeah, it's just... This blade is perfect. Um, if there's anything I could knock it for, it's that this pocket clip moves a bit when you don't tighten it down. But past that, really, uh, I've fallen in love. And I actually cut some turkey once and left it on the blade so it patinaed. Didn't rust, just patinaed. Um, so this is stainless steel. It still stains. But, yeah, enough oozing over this blade. This is a wonderful blade. I've fallen in love with it. Um, I really like my EDC setup right now. I'm just going to show you the tools. I'm not going to get everything out. But these implements um, form the core of my system, and I've really just... I've fallen in love with this general setup right now. Um, I have no real need to change it. I mean, I do when the situation calls for it. Um, I have a specific EDC setup for when I am in a classroom teaching, and you'll see that video um, somewhere down here. It depends on whether or not I upload this before or after it, but the annotation link will be there. Um, you know, if I'm in dress slacks, there's a whole slew of other options I have. I have slip joint knives and smaller flashlights, and I can rotate a bunch of stuff in when I need to, but right now, it's summer, I'm in cargo shorts most of the time, laid back, these are generally what I'm going with, or some variation of it. Larger flashlight, 
round about a three inch knife, sometimes bigger, but this is about what I'm going for and a small pocket size multi tool. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I appreciate all the views, um, support you guys are giving me. Stay tuned for more and take care.